What is going on YouTube? It is the Big K Cup 360 here, and AMD is going to slash FX CPU prices on the 1st of September. So first of all, they're going to cut down the FX 9590 from 225 euros down to 175 euros, which will then put it up against Intel's Core i5 4690K. Now. With a drop in price of all FX CPUs, the 9590 will come down. Obviously, 8350 will come down, 8320 will come down, 8300 will come down, 6300, and so on and so forth. What does this mean? Well, honestly, firstly, AMD will introduce three new FX 8 series CPUs at the exact same time, which will be running at 95 watts. Now, as I said before in the previous, previous video, sorry, a long time ago, AMD is bringing back FX eventually, probably around 2015-2016 time. However, this new FX8 series CPU, or the three of them that they are apparently bringing out on September 1st, is going to have a 95 watt TDP. However, don't expect it to be new architecture. Definitely don't expect that. Just expect, you know, maybe better clock speeds or maybe a slightly different core. Maybe they're using Steamroller instead of PowerDriver. I don't expect a big performance leap or architectural leap at all because they're saving that for their next big CPU launch. So just wait for that. However, what does this mean? Well, it could mean one of two things. They could be clearing up FX CPUs to prepare them uh, to just scrap the whole AM3 platform. If they just get rid of AM3 Plus and move to FM2 Plus or to FM3, then they can just put all their CPUs on APUs on one socket instead of having this segregation that they've got with, you know, mainly their high-end CPUs on AM3 Plus and their APUs and even some of their CPUs on FM2 Plus. Maybe they just want to get rid of all the FX CPUs so they can move to FM2 Plus or, as I said before, they're probably just preparing for a new generation of FX CPUs. I'm sure that's what the case is. Um, you know, it's coming, guys. I told you guys it's coming. AMD even said themselves, FX isn't dead. It's coming back. And this is just the first step to the revival of the FX series of CPUs. Now, I'm pumped for this. I want to see how cheap the current 8350, 9590, I want to see how cheap they all actually become like. Imagine like a 95.90 for like $170. That is a bargain. 5 gigahertz chip, and I believe it comes with the water cooler. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it does for 175 US dollars. How sick would that be? Or 175 euros. They have the pricing around the same, even though the currency isn't the same, but they have it around you know, the same area. So you expect the same kind of drop, except you know, convert it to your currency so you know what to actually expect and you don't, you know, hype yourself up too much. But anyway, this is great. These slashing prices, we could be seeing new FX series CPUs as soon as September 1st. However, obviously, this is not the big dog that I've been talking about in previous videos. That Those series of CPUs will come out some other time, maybe next year or maybe even 2016. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.